Here I am, a recent high school graduate, wasting away my summer before I start college. Lying in bed is what I do literally half the day, mainly because I lost the ability to fall asleep before a reasonable time, causing me to wake up at an hour where only two months ago I'd almost be done with a school day. That's one thing I love about summer, though. My alarm clock is turned off, allowing me to wake up simply when my body doesn't desire sleep anymore. However, some days I do have an alarm clock. Hello? Damn telemarketers. I was having the most pleasant dream, for which now I don't remember. I check my clock and decide I ought to get out of bed. But first I think about what I have planned for today. That was quick. It's amazing how uneventful your summer can be when you have no ambitions. Less than an hour later, I get back to my room after brushing my teeth and eating lunch. Because of my unhealthy sleeping habits, I have basically eliminated the meal of breakfast from my life. I check out my cell phone for any missed calls. I'd be up for anything at this point of the day. If a friend called me and said, Hey Joseph, we're going to a dogfight in an abandoned crack house. I'd be out the door in a second. My computer is on and I log on to Facebook, the ultimate site for wasting time. It gives me comfort to see that many of my friends are just as bored as I am. I admit it's a great tool for keeping in touch with your pals, especially when you move off to college, but it's also a cesspool of pure uselessness. I mean, do you really need to upload 50 pictures of your trip to the local Starbucks? Or do you really need to let everyone know you're the fan of something stupid? I check out some more status messages, most of which are really ambiguous. Some people need to talk privately about their problems instead of leaving them out on the open, hoping someone will care. My status messages are always just stupid jokes for which my sick sense of humor finds hilarious. Hopefully I get an LOL, or at the very least someone presses the like button. Someone writes on my wall, one of the least direct methods of human communication. Seems like my buddy just beat my Tetris score. If I had any sanity, I let it go, turn off my computer, and go out and do something productive. But sanity is overrated. And I'm really bored. So I spend the next hour trying to beat a score. That Soviet propaganda music becomes stuck in my head, but I accomplish my mission and obtain a new high score. And sadly, that might be the highlight of my day. Since none of my friends are calling me, I decide to get the ball rolling myself. I use instant messaging to do most of my communication. It's ironic what technology is doing to the way we talk. Throughout most of history, communicating has become faster from mail to telegraphs to phones. Now with text messaging, AIM, and Facebook, communicating has actually become slower and a lot less personal. I wait five minutes for a response I could have got instantaneously if I just called him. But for some reason, the act of picking up my cell phone and calling someone seems a lot more tedious than it actually is. Well, at least I'll be doing something tomorrow. But it seems today I'm destined not to leave my house. I go downstairs and try to improve my musical talents. This is one of the few mind-stimulating things I do. I've been through several piano lessons, and by piano lessons, I mean I watch some videos on YouTube. Hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. I always mess up that damn note, but I continue playing until I get through a little bit more of the song than I did yesterday. My evenings follow the same routine boringness. 5 o'clock I exercise, 6.30 I eat dinner, 7.30 I watch a rerun of The Simpsons, 8 o'clock I mindlessly surf the internet watching YouTube videos I've seen a hundred times before but I still find funny. I also look up useless information on Wikipedia and maybe even take a Facebook quiz. 10.30 I shower, brush my teeth, and put on my sleep clothes for which I realize I haven't changed that up during the whole day. 11 o'clock, I watch another rerun of The Simpsons, followed by an array of late-night talk shows like The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien and Red Eye with Greg Gutfeld. One in the morning, I'm back to the place where I spend 12 hours of my day. I just lay in bed and let my mind wander. I think about the events of my past that in hindsight I should have done differently. I think about college and how my life will be in the future. 
and I think about outlandish hypothetical events. Like what if tomorrow I met the perfect girl who loves the Lakers and has the same sick sense of humor as I do? It won't happen, but it's fun to think about. My thoughts continue long after I turn off the lights. I try to fall asleep, but the images in my mind keep me awake. I open up my eyes, and the only thing I can see is the digital clock of the VCR across the room. Time seems to go by the fastest when you're trying to slip out of consciousness. If I had to wake up early in the morning, I'd be freaking out now. But I don't, so I let time casually slip by. I close my eyes and continue to try to fall asleep. Tomorrow will be more interesting.